Um, we have reached our limit for tools, so let's increase that. No, we haven't. No, somebody died. And he's back. Yes, he is. Hello, Mr. McCoy. Welcome back. How are we this evening? Thirteen and twelve for the sheep. So that is coming along nicely. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a setback earlier, uh, Roy. So after that giant starvation event of the last episode, we then went and had a huge tornado <laughs> come rolling through. Uh, I'm good. I'm very good, thank you. Um, shame to hear you're knackered, but unsurprised. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we've, uh, we're again just about bouncing back from the uh, situation. So that was the starvation event. Then we climbed all the way up and then a tornado tore through and decimated our population. So we're now slowly building back and we're almost, almost at where we were before the tornado. Um, not far off, not far off at all. The kid situation is much, much better, thankfully. We've, in fact, yeah, we're Oh geez, yeah, we've uh, we've got more than two to one, um, be like two to one point two or one point three or something like that. But that's a good thing. I've been waiting for that for quite some time, so I'm glad that's finally happening. Um, it's late spring, so I've left this a little bit late, but I am going to upgrade another house to a stone house. Um, in fact, do you know what? Let's oh, not that one because it's got five people living in it. Let's find a house where there's like. A lone spinster. Yeah, that one. Dumb. Upgrade that house. Ah, oh, look at that new wheat field. Doesn't that look pretty? Yep, all good on my end, uh, Roy. Um, just, uh, yeah, had a nice day of streaming, to be honest. Stream Don't Starve Together, and... Uh, banished today. Uh, not entirely sure what is on the docket for tomorrow. Uh, don't starve together. We'll be in the afternoon. In the evening, anybody's guess or anybody's uh, recommendation. Yeah, if you've uh, if you've got an idea of what I should be playing tomorrow, whether it's one of the games that I already play and you want to see more of, or if it's uh, another game that you think I should be playing based on my love of kind of crafting survival city builder management sorts of games then please do let me know i did actually buy a new game today in the hope of streaming it and then i saw that literally nobody is streaming it on twitch which i think is a shame because it's it started off very poorly in its life cycle and it had a lot of bad reviews on steam but it's clawed its way back recently and it's actually got mostly positive reviews now so i I, I might I might play a bit of that tomorrow and to find out what that is you'll have to just return tomorrow and uh, keep track of uh, what games I'm going to be playing oh we have a trader oh it's the same one as before yep steel tools leather wool coat iron no thanks no to the above we could swap you you do my day I'll do yours oh no uh, I booked a week off for a reason. <laughs> Show us bearded one. <laughs> um, we've actually reached our upper limit of clothes for the first time in the entire game. So let's just boost that up. It's because we're producing so much wool from all of these sheep. Excellent stuff. The only resource, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm not including alcohol in this. We'll get to that when when I can be bothered, basically. Um, all it will do is help increase the happiness of citizens, but it won't do anything for anything else. Um, and we don't produce 
In fact, I, I'm pretty sure we can use chestnuts to um, to create alcohol. Weirdly, but um, yeah, it's not it's not a high priority. But the only thing we're not producing that we should really have is herbs or medicinal herbs, I should say. Um, we really need to get that going because the uh, the the herb list that I placed down here literally has produced nothing i mean it's not going to show anything here i don't know why i even clicked on it because there's been nobody working there for about five years but even when people were working there th th nothing was being produced so yeah herbs is something that i do need to address relatively soon let's fill in a few of these uh professions though um just gonna move my chat out of the way because i can't see the uh professions tab very well um so we got four laborers let's finish off the foresters hunters are done fishermen done uh oh no let's take one back out of the gatherer profession and yeah, we're pretty much pretty much full again. Um, our food supplies have already gone above our maximum capacity, despite only having done that last last season. Um, so let's increase it by another two thousand. Wow, food is going super super well. It won't stay that way forever. Um, there will come a point where it's just like slowly declining surplus of food and we'll have to build or rather we'll have to reopen this farm here. Um, but then also once we've got these two pastures full of sheep, they'll start producing mutton as well. Um, as uh, yeah, the, they will continue to grow until there is 25 sheep in the pen and then the 26th will get slaughtered and we'll get some meat out of that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Lamb, my favorite meat. Okay, so you can see that uh, we're up to three hearts now, and that is literally just because I've thrown wheat into the mix. So Again, just to show that um, the variety of foodstuffs do increase the overall health of your population. Logs, we've got too many, so let's increase the limit of what we can store. Um, saying that, I do actually want to... Oop, don't know why it paused. Um, I should really put in another stockpile, because... A lot of these places are getting full up. I mean, there's plenty of space in the market. Um, but because I keep on increasing the um, the capacity of all these different types of resources, like, yeah, again, that stockpile is pretty much full. Um, so whenever they're kind of chopping something down over here, they're having to haul it all the way back over here, which is not good. So um, let's just go around and add in a couple of stockpiles in places, just as little buffers. Um, might as well do that up to the edge. And that'll be fine for that zone. And we'll put in a little buffer here as well. That's a huge zone there, so that's fine. That's pretty much full up, so let's add in another little one. here and yeah that should be fine just adds a little bit of capacity for us so people aren't spending all of their time just walking from one end of the map to the other with supplies again we're just playing the waiting game so we've got uh, 63 kids uh, 120 one adults uh lovely pretty much at our two to one ratio so everything's taken over steadily there but i'm gonna very quickly pause 
so I can go and refresh my drink and uh, we'll pick it up in just a second. Be right back. Hello and welcome back. Oh, I seem to have lost my TV. Let's switch that back on. Okay, let's uh, plow ahead. Come on, TV, come back on. <laughs> hey, um, still a couple of professions that do just need padding out with laborers, but we are pretty much at the stage where we want to be starting to build this township up over here. So that iron mine is 6% remaining. So let's make that our priority. We're going to put in a new iron mine over here. And they can sometimes be a little bit fiddly to put in. There we go. That works there. Can we move it over? Yeah, we can. Ooh, to there. So we're going to get a new iron mine built in here and we will need a couple of houses uh, to support that as well. So do a little row starting there and we'll do a road down here and okay, just one little bit more and across to the mine. Cool. So that's that building. Um, what I would also like to do is to give ourselves a little bit of a buffer with the iron, start mining some of the stuff off the ground. And because we're putting the iron mine in, we will also put in a blacksmith once I find it. There it is. We'll put the blacksmith right on the uh, corner of the market there. Um, now, there is also not any access to water over here. So if we had a fire, we'd be screwed. Let's fix that immediately and add in a well there. Um, what else might we need in our town? Well, 
uh, we kind of need a supply of wood and food as well because everything food related is way over here so let's build another kind of foresters zone i don't know why i keep pausing it's uh there's, there's no point everything's taken over well um let's do that up to there and we'll want uh foresters lodge first just check where that road has been built there so we want it lined up like that and we'll also add in a hunter's cabin which we'll pop in there and we'll want a couple of houses to go with it so we'll do a stone house two stone houses uh, we'll also need a stockpile so let's get one of those thrown in Let's finish building that road. And the final thing, because the uh, the other herbalist hut isn't actually doing anything annoyingly, let's add in another another herbalist over here and hopefully these will find some herbs. Okay, that's a lot of building projects to get going. So we'll add in a couple more builders. Um, we'll fill in the farmers. 22, lovely, and 17. So that is very close to producing some mutton for us. Lovely stuff. Uh, we have a merchant at the trading post. So come on, everything crossed. Let's hope for... Uh, we've got chicken the meat. But no chicken, the animal. <laughs> Damn it! Bring us some live ones next time. Very annoying. Oh, that mine is already built and going. Um, let's... Only 3% left on that so i'm just going to reduce this down to like five people so that again the bulk of the miners will come over here to work now 10 people is quite a lot and the housing that we have here is probably going to be inadequate so let's build one more house tons of logs again so let's just increase the limit um okay great food going really well just below 20k so no no need to worry about that um all of the professions have been filled in i'm gonna go ahead and destroy that herbalist now because it's been absolutely useless so we want to remove that structure so it's just that building there um it's early spring but we've still got snows uh do you know what it doesn't matter let's uh upgrade one of our wooden houses again we'll be looking for one where there's not many people living there it's a young family so they're gonna have kids soon so maybe not that they're Sounds so horrible saying it like this, but they're old. They're going to die soon anyway. Let's replace that house. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an unfortunate uh, reality. Um, same could be said of that one. 56-year-old woodcutter living alone. Eh, let's replace your house as well. Oh, wow. We've got 29 builders worth of building projects to do. So let's just perhaps pump the gas on building anything else. Not pump the gas, pump the brakes rather <laughs> on uh, building anything else. See, even that quarry, we've, we've been working that quarry really slowly. Like, at some points, it's only had like two or three workers in there. Um, 
but uh, yeah, that's that's also coming to the end of its life cycle, as is that mine, and that mine is very, very close. Um, let's see. Really, we just need people working on the old building. Just need all those new things to uh, get done. So population-wise, how are we doing? So just over 60 kids for 126 adults. So it's around about that 2 to 1 ratio that I like. Um, we do have 35 students, though. So not right now, but very soon, especially once we start really building up this city, we will build another school over here um, to yeah to deal with all, the, all of the kids that are going to be growing up in this town. How's all this coming along? Slowly, very slowly. Um, do you know what? Let's uh, open up one more merchant job and oh, let's make this work now. So that it is actually starting to bring some things in. So we've got full farmers, we've got full gatherers, full fishermen, hunters, woodcutters, foresters. Excellent. So yeah, it really is a case of going crazy over this side of town and start building it up. But uh, yeah, with uh, 23 builders worth of work at the moment, I'll, I'll just hang fire for a little while. Food's coming in. It's going to be well over 20k. Well, well over. Let's harvest the chestnuts as well. Yeah, wheat seems to be quite a high yield um, crop. Let's see. Um, wow. Yeah, it's uh, it's bringing in like 1,500 a year. Let's compare that to uh, beans, which is yeah, well below. Um, And pumpkins, 13. So yeah, the, uh, the the wheat seems to be very, very effective crop. Okay, that's our... Oh. Taylor must have died. So, no, no, it's working again now. Hmm, weird. Uh, okay, so the uh, the blacksmith is almost done. Three more bits of building to be done. And while I'm thinking about it, let's throw in a little bit more housing. How is the old mine doing? 2% remaining, 9% remaining, 30% remaining. Okay. Uh, so many tools. So, so many. Um, do you have livestock? Why are you not bringing me livestock? Hmm. We've not got corn. We do have an awful lot of tools. Um, seems like a shame to kind of waste what we do have. Got like another 140 there as well. Okay, let's bring in some corn. And it's 313. Done. Okay, we have corn seeds. Slowly, slowly building up our um, different seed varieties. 
little by little. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do iron tools just down to like 260. Again, it will slowly restock. Uh, okay, this uh, one is good to go. We'll have them. Mm. It's going to have to be iron tools for now because until we re relocate that coal mine over here, they're not going to have easy access to coal. So um, let's just leave it as is for now. I'm actually going to add in two more people that help run the markets as well. This will just help them kind of run things back into a lot quicker. Um, just a couple more people on that job since we've uh, we've got the population to support it now. Um, speaking of which, let's have a look at our graphs. Yes, so we have the highest population of our playthrough so far. Touch wood. <laughs> Don't screw me over again, game, please. <laughs> so we're early spring year 44. Um, Not really a lot that we're wanting for at the moment. Um, we're pretty safe on most fronts. Um, we do need to start filling in some of these professions as they do get uh, built up. So foresters, for example, is already ready to go. So let's add a couple of foresters in. Um, then did I build a gatherers over here? No, I think it was just a hunter and a herbalist that I that I built on this side. Oh, before I forget, uh, let's improve that house to stone and let's improve hmm. they're all, ah, there we go, that one to stone. can start to see it is it's slowly starting to take shape into a uh, a better village now very slowly Just while I'm thinking about it as well, I'm going to uh, take a little screenshot picture of uh, what we've got go going on over here. Uh, let's just minimize that for a second. This will be for some of my YouTube covers, so let's get that on the go. Because <laughs> I always forget and then end up having to come back into the game to... Uh, to come and get my pictures. There we go. Dump. Save now. So 23 out of 25, 26 out of 25. So we should be producing mutton. Yay, in fact, it's producing a lot of mutton. Wow. A lot, a lot. <laughs> Good stuff. This is probably why let's get all of those menus back now 
So we want that one, that one, and that one. Uh, yeah, this is probably why the, the food situation's not been too bad, because although our population is growing, we've been passively propping it up with uh, mutton that I didn't know we were producing. <laughs> Um, so those are all harvesting already, as are they. Let's get this one harvesting as well. Um, that mine is almost kicked. That one's got a little ways to go. How are we doing on steel no iron tools okay we're getting a surplus again so let's pop that up to 400 and again it will just keep filling itself up food supplies are over 23,000 <laughs> this is an insane amount of food let's just really uh overdo it so we can hold up to 28,000 um, shouldn't get that pop up for a while again now. Here comes our trader. Everybody cross your fingers for chickens or cows, or both, because we can probably afford both. No! Uh, already have corn seeds, not too bothered about plum seeds. Pass. Hard pass. So yep, both of those pastures are full of sheep now, so um, they'll both be producing mutton. Lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, let's add in two herbalists and pray to all that is holy that they actually start, uh, start providing us with some herbs. So if we do have like a cholera or a diphtheria outbreak again, like we have done already in this uh, in this playthrough, the herbs are going to be the uh, the main defense against that. And as you can see, oh yes, two, we've got two, hooray! <laughs> Which is nothing, but it's it is actually finding some herbs, uh, which the old one was not doing. So I am very pleased about that. Just filling in those new professions with uh, some new workers. Uh, we'll add in one more miner. Logs is reaching its limit, so let's just pop that up a little bit. We are doing so good. The only thing that is really going to screw us over now is uh, a giant... Uh, meteor hitting the earth or um <laughs> some outbreak of some disease or another tornado um but in terms of us actually being able to kind of you know support our citizens we're doing great we're really doing good um how are we doing in terms of our jackets so we've got loads of wool coats we've got 32 warm coats so those are the real the warm coats are the really good ones and then hide coats we're not even producing those anymore um so yeah actually another thing i'm gonna start bringing in here then is some wool coats so eventually we want all of our people to be wearing warm coats um we will get that but uh, the best way to get leather is not from those hunter's huts. It's just what you've got to deal with at the very beginning of the game because they produce absolutely naff all. So 18 leather from that one last season and six so far this, this year. Not good, not good. But uh, once we get cows and we get an abundance of cows, we can kill them. We'll get milk from them during their lifetime will get beef from them once they're dead as well as leather and that's where you get most of your leather um and then we can start really mass producing the warm coats definitely on the right side of things now as i say it's uh it's barring acts of god <laughs> that this could go wrong um we could do with a lot more kids though um we are almost at a three to one ratio which is far away from what I like to see. So um, let's build a couple of houses. 
and we may as well build stone because uh, we've started the process of upgrading things now. There's no point uh, continuing to, to build things that aren't useful to us. So a couple of stone houses over here. Um, no, let's add another one in there. We should really have already started to upgrade a house, but I missed the boat on that. Um, let's see if there is... Yeah. Sorry, fisherman. You are getting upgraded. So yeah, we are slowly starting to see a vast improvement on the housing situation. Oh, that one can get done as well. One 70-year-old living there. I would love to see a banished two. Um, the, this game, this whole game, was built by a single developer. Um, I forget his name now because it's been a while. But uh, yeah, this whole thing was built by a single person, and they did a phenomenal job. This this game has kind of become the um, benchmark against which most city builders are compared. Uh, and a, a newer one that I really, really want to try out, and I probably will stream at some point, is called Ostriv. Um, it's uh, it's just got more of the same kind of thing, but the, the, there's more of a 3D isometric element to it than this. So this is, it, it does look very kind of basic, even when you zoom in, but Ostriv, you can kind of really get down in people's grills and kind of see what's going on. And there's more resources to do, and that means more complex crafting kind of trees that you've got to go down to, to build stuff. It looks really, really good. Um, really, really interested to play it. I've, I've just not got around to it yet. It's been in my Steam wish list for probably nigh on a year at this point. Oh, we have reached our limit with the chapel. So let's give our sieves something to work at. Uh, let's give them a new chapel. And we'll build it over in our new civilization. Because why not? Uh, let's pop it behind all of these other things. Build a little road out to it. Lovely. Um, what other things could we build over here? Yeah, we probably will need a school because this this is starting to build up now. So uh, do you know what? Let's let's future proof it. Let's throw in a school there as well. Cool. So we've got a couple of building projects to go uh, to to be getting on with. I've got to imagine that this mine has kicked it now. Yeah, zero percent remaining. So let's um, reduce that down. Oh no, that it's obviously still got something in it because otherwise it would it would it would tell us that it's depleted. Um, so let's just leave. Uh, do you know what? I I just want it to get completed and like done with sooner rather than later. So we'll keep three in there for now. Um, okay, again, playing the waiting game, so I don't know why I paused. <laughs> um, food, 27,000 food. Ridiculous. Ridiculous amounts of food. But do you know what? I am so blasé that things are going well that I'm going to very quickly run away from the screen and just leave it playing. Um, that's how confident I am in the way things are going. The only thing that will screw us over is a plague of some kind, uh, and there's nothing that I will be able to do being sat here to stop that anyway. So I will be 
Just a second. And we're back. So, no, no plagues, no tornadoes. <laughs> One person died of old age. I can deal with that. Okay. Again, we are just playing the waiting game. Um, again, we could probably do with more kids being born. Um, so. Let's uh, let's build a couple more houses. Look at our health now. Four and a half hearts. Good, good stuff. Probably the biggest change that's impacted that is that we are now actually producing medicine, which we haven't been for the entire, like, 45 years <laughs> of... Uh, before this um, herbalist uh, was actually built. Very happy with that. Um, let's see. How are those mines coming along? Uh, too many logs again, so let's just boost that up to 3100. Uh, where's our mines? Yep, so that is now dead. Um, so what we can do is demolish it it's really not going to make the the surrounding area much more um useful but it does just remove that horrible ungainly sight from uh from the world so that's gone and done with that's really not got long to go either uh but we've still got tons of coal tons and tons of it um 939 tools as well so we've got tons of tools. Uh, how many do we have? 153 that are in rotation. So let's uh, really blast up the number of iron tools that we're requesting over here. Just tons and tons. Um, great. Sixteen hundred mutton last year and fourteen hundred mutton last year. Lovely. Okay, we should really upgrade another house as well. Um, let's have a look around. But that house doesn't really need to be there anymore now that there's not a mine, so I'm not going to worry about upgrading it. Um, it's a young family, so I don't really want to... Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Trader coming in. Come on, give me some livestock. 
Give me some livestock. Mm. Nomads as well. I'll go and check that out in a second. Pause. Come on, please, chickens. Oh. Yeah, normally if there's livestock, it will literally just be livestock and nothing else. So the moment that I see that full list, I'm just like, oh, come on. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's just food. It's like the most useless haul ever. Right, let's go and see how many nomads it wants to bring in. I don't, it's probably going to be quite a lot. I don't know if I'll be accepting this. Oh, 12. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's bolster our ranks with 12 people. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. Uh, let's add in some of those industries. Complete the miners. Um, we probably do want to start thinking about building the next mine over here. So let's add that in as well. Trying to get the two mines as close together as I possibly can. So yeah, it's not going to work there. Oh, they do actually fit right side by side there. So that that works for me. So let's uh, get a road built in along the edge. And we'll do a road from the market down to the mines here. And we'll throw in... A couple of houses. Uh, we've got quite a lot of building projects to do, so let's up the number of builders to six. And we'll just let it run. Um, yeah, until it starts bringing in some livestock. There's not a lot. Oh, actually, look at that down to 18,000. That's because our population is growing quite considerably. So I am going to open this field next year. Um, it's going to require six people, not five. So it's a 20 by 20. Harvest that, let's harvest that, and that, and that's already going. Yep, to you, and yep, to you. So, actually, we probably don't need to open that, because I just hadn't realised it was, like, mid to late summer, and nothing had started harvesting yet. We're probably absolutely fine for, for food, so, yeah, let's, let's not worry about that farm for now. Do you know what I might do? I might actually open up... Oh, actually, no, we've, we've got so much wool. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the only reason I would want another uh, sheep pasture at this point is to produce um, more um, clothing material. But as we can see from our inventory, wool... Oh, wool 42. Not as much as I thought, actually. Uh, it's leather that we've got loads of. Wow, 192 leather. Hmm. Very interesting. I think that might actually... Oh, hold on. Why is it paused? An outbreak of influenza has occurred. Dun, dun, dun. Where is... Influenza Mary? <laughs> um, there. There you are. Uh, influenza Cornelia get to the hospital stop doing whatever you're doing I don't want you going home I want you going to the hospital so you don't infect the rest of my population you moron yeah yeah just walk around go 
uh, again, there's nothing that you can do to directly influence the things that they're... Yep, okay, you've just passed it on. Like, literally passed that person and gave them influenza. Oh, stop being a moron and go to hospital. Still only two people, three people. Yeah. Three people. Holding steady at three people. Six people. Oh, God. I don't know what the capacity for the hospital is, to be perfectly honest. I think we've got all of the sick people in there now, though. Which is good. Nope. Numbers growing. And decreasing again. Yay! Successfully dealt with our first proper pandemic. The last one wasn't too much to worry about. Um, but yeah, that one was very successfully dealt with. So it is a very good job that we had that um, herbalist hut up and running, because otherwise that would have been a very, very, very different outcome. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, what do we have over here? Uh, so we're still restocking tools, that's fine. Should we throw in a couple of extra wool coats? Why not? We've got more than enough firewoods, so let's just increase the limit a little bit so we stop seeing that annoying icon pop up. Yay, we have a new chapel, so we've doubled our uh, religious quota, so 200 per chapel. That will cover us for a long, long time. Um, we also have a new school, so the kids over in this village can get educated, so we'll populate that with a teacher. Um, yeah, really, we are on Easy Street at this point. It's uh, Everything's well in hand. The only thing that will... Oh, the reserve of stone is low. Hmm. Hmm. That's a problem that we can fix. Uh only 22% of that left, so for now, let's just ramp up the number of people in there. Now, the reason that this has become a problem is because all of those upgrades to stone houses has just slowly whittled away our reserve of stone. Like, stone's not been an issue for a long, long time. Um, but we do also have, uh, and now that we're over here, we can get access to these stone deposits on the ground over here. So we'll bolster our reserves with what's on the floor, as well as increasing the number of laborers uh, who are working as stone cutters. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Another trader coming? No, not for a while. Not quite sure where they come from. Probably over here. But uh, yeah, can't see anything on the river at the moment. Yeah, 21,000 for food uh, at early spring. So yeah, I, I think probably year 48 we will get that field working. Um, let's also get another house upgrading. So, which is the house this year? Mm. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's probably do another, yeah, old people in there. So let's get that, those two upgraded. Ooh, we've got no laborers. Um, let 
let's just release one builder. What do we have? Please be something good. Oh, come on. Just just give me some livestock. Um, do you know what? We've got so many things that we may as well at least get some orchard seeds. Um, okay, so it'll be 313 again of those. And trade. So we now have pear seeds. Do you know what? Let's, let's just build an orchard because uh, why not? With um, it's going to take years for the orchard to actually become, you know, a, a viable operation, operation, rather. Um, so yeah, why not? Uh, why not get it going now? Let's see where we would like to build it. Probably somewhere over here, um, and we want to do a twenty by twenty. Do you know what? Let's go crazy. So absolutely mental. We'll build two. Perhaps hold on. Where was that last one built? I would kind of like them to be um, on top of each other. So one gap and 20 by 20. So we'll put uh, two pear orchards over here. And with that, we'll also put in... Um, a pub over here, and then we'll use the uh, the pears to to produce some pear cider. Um, <laughs> it will just be deemed as alcohol in the stores, but still, um, if we're producing two twenty by twenty orchards worth of uh, of pears, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to uh, keep the booze flowing all year round. Um, why are we down to one teacher? Or two teachers out of three. Let's fix that problem. Um, ate some poisonous berries and died. Oh, good God. That's not good. Um, let's increase the priority on this as well. Because I'd like to get those built sooner rather than later. early summer so let's just check on how fields are doing ooh not great although it did just boost up quite quickly out of nowhere it's, it's early summer it's early summer that's fine yeah if it was like this at mid to late summer I'd be worried but early summer yeah the fields are doing great Harvest those beans, uh, then we can hang on a little while. Yeah, why not? Yep, go for it. Go for it. You too. You as well. Still producing tons of mutton every year. Oh, God. Everything is just going swimmingly. Yeah, pretty much at this stage, it is just a case of keep on expanding, keep on building. Um, you can see that we're at five out of five health here. Four out of four for happiness. That will increase once we've got these two orchards built. Um, and then we start producing some alcohol. Um, yeah, we're now at a stage where it is literally just keep building. Um, it, it's not an overly difficult game. Like, if you can kind of persevere through these first 50 years, it's just a case of growing and growing and growing, and growing you know? Um, so it does make me think, actually, that, uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely, I can continue streaming this, but considering that there are so few people watching this evening, it does make me think that... Um, yeah, maybe maybe next Monday we switch Banished out for a different game. 
that might have a few more viewers. Um, I love this game. I would happily play it forever and ever more, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to grow my channel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I find myself between a rock and a hard place with that with that decision. Um, well, in fact, no, I'm not between a rock and a hard place. It's an easy decision. I want to grow. So I'm going to find something that is a little bit more watched than Banished. But um, yeah, if uh, as you're watching this on repeat on YouTube, if you do find yourself thinking, what did Birdie do after year 50 uh, in this game? Just let me know. Send me a comment. I would be happy to carry on playing this. Um, it's It's a really, really, really cool game. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, leave it running on full speed. Um, probably just floating around, having a look at what's going on, but probably not getting too involved um, for these last few years, just until we get to uh, the end of year 50. And then uh, we'll call it quits for this evening. But yeah, I mean, look how much we've expanded. I mean, this was pretty much all built out last year, but... Um, then we had that, uh, then we had that tornado, and we built back from that. And now we've got this whole new little city on the eastern side of the map. It's not done yet. There's definitely more things we can do. I mean, we're building these two orchards, um, and with that in mind, in fact, let's just build some roads out there. And oh, what have we got? Trading post. Let's see. Yay! Hallelujah! Oh, chickens at long last. So one. Let's buy four this time, just to be certain that we don't get screwed over this time. Um, iron tools. Sixteen hundred eight does go into sixteen hundred as a whole number. Again, I'm just awful at maths and don't know what that would be. Um, so let's do a whole 300 is going to be way more. Yeah, way more. Um, let's try 250. Uh, that's still too much. Let's try 220. Oh, just, just shy of... Uh, five, so 225 is the correct number. Yay. No, no, that's still too much. 200, too much. Um, I missaw the number earlier, so let's say 200. Yeah, 200. Excellent. Four chickens, in you come. Close that. Let's immediately get this pasture with chickens and we'll want two more herdsmen and along with that we'll want some more homes over here as well so let's build some stone houses along the way great we have chickens huzzah That mine's nearly done. Quarry's still going. Still going strong. Um, plus we're slowly kind of bringing in all the stone that was over here as well. Whenever there's people free, like the farmers in their downtime, they'll go and do that during the winter and stuff. And there's uh, nothing to do on the fields. Um, got no labourers again, so let's just fix that. Got... 70 kids, just over 70 kids, to 153 adults. So, yeah, slightly below the 2 to 1 ratio I like, but eh, not that far off either. Um, got so many logs, we don't know what to do with them, so let's just increase the total that we can hold. 
Okay, well into spring of 48. Those beans are coming along nicely. That field's not working, so I don't know why I'm checking it. <laughs> um, wow, 20,000 food and it's it's late spring. Could really just do with uh, them sending like 50 or 60 nomads, just go and build a new town immediately and never have to worry ever again. Excellent. We have our pear orchard, or rather our first pear orchard. Um, we need one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, yep, they'll start, start working that orchard, and I suppose we should probably put in little bit of housing for our new farmers and we're going to be working over here So again, just uh, letting th things tick over. Um, nothing really to pause or micromanage, so we'll just watch time slowly tick away as... Uh, oh, there we go. We've got our second pear orchard, and again, we'll need one, two, three. There we go. Um, so we've got full sets of farmers on every orchard. Those will st slowly start to produce over the years. So that field is fully planted. Um, that's going to take a while. So obviously we're heading into uh, winter winter months now. Um, did our chickens make it over? They did. And we've got six now. So we bought four. We've got six. So good stuff. Um, produced 24 eggs this year so far. So we've got time to go. Yep, that will grow and grow and grow. And, oh, I built houses there. Um, ah, it's, it's not the end of the world. There, there's probably still space for a pasture to go here. In fact, let's just get that put in now uh, so that I don't start building over it. So, yep. We'll put a pasture in there. So once this gets to about 30 chickens, we'll split them off and we'll put some in here. And then we can have those two chicken coops on the go. Got another trader coming in. Go on, give us cows. Make my day. Make my day. Nope, no cows. Ah, well, never mind. But chickens at last. <laughs> How are we doing in terms of all of our traded items? So we've got probably about 50% of the things unlocked. Not bad. Ooh, that shouldn't be producing iron. I missed the fact that that had been produced. Let's switch that over to coal immediately. Um, and let's just do a quick recon on our mines. So I would like that to have a couple more people in it just so it gets destroyed quicker. 
so yeah, this is what the destroyed mine looks like. It will just kind of gloss over that it was ever there. Um, just try and get a couple more people in that. I just want that to run out as quickly as possible because then we can transfer all of that population out to this new site over here. Got nine and nine. Um, so yeah, we've got a st we've got a really good supply of iron and coal. So again, really no need to kind of micromanage things when things are ticking over this well. Um, let's add in a couple more vendors because we've got so much labor force that why not? May as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's throw in another stone cutter as well. Everything else is uh, is doing really good. So early spring forty nine. <laughs> Um, as I said, we're gonna, well, we've got two more years to go and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cut our losses at that point. So, yeah. What, uh, what game would you like to see me play next week? Uh, I've got a couple in mind already. Um, and it's going to be some all the suggestions I would like to hear would be something in the ballpark of kind of crafty management survival kind of games. Um, I've, I've got a couple that I'm already, I've already got plans for. But uh, yeah, if you've got a game that you think I should be playing, why not let me know in the comments? I would be very appreciative of your input. So 10, 11 chickens already. Really growing fast. How are we doing with our population? Let's have a quick look at the graph. Ah, look at that. Lovely stuff. Let's have a look at the whole time that we've been playing the game. So yeah, we can just go 50 years. Um, so yeah, two major incidents, but then uh, yeah, we're we're looking really good now. Got our pear orchards, very much on the go. Um, they're probably not going to be producing anything for at least two more years, so uh, I'll hold off on building the tavern until a little bit closer to that time. Um, but then, yeah, the tavern will uh, produce produce ale. But you know what? This is producing chickens at such a fast rate that really makes no sense to wait. Let's um, have them both growing simultaneously. Ooh, one too many. So we've got six and five, and we'll have both of those pastures of chickens growing together. early autumn and yeah if i'd have been paying a little bit closer attention i probably would have um started um manually harvesting these fields a little bit earlier but uh, it's not the end of the world and plus we have twenty one thousand food really not going to be a problem um we may lose a little bit in terms of the the, the maximum yield that could have come in but uh i'll not worry uh no cattle no seeds so not bothered about that new trading boat flick the uh, the time to keep running. So yeah, I suppose the the main takeaways from uh, the, uh, the these few live streams that I've been doing of Banished is don't get disheartened when when the S hits the fan. Um, it happens. And you can bounce back from it. Um, it's really not the end of the world. It's super frustrating. 
and especially if you if you don't know the game so well it's easy to think oh, i've lost half my population it's over it's going to be terminal decline from this point no it's it's really not um you can overcome um tornadoes <laughs> mass starvation events um outbreaks of kind of bugs in your field which screw your crops over just make sure you're Fields are spaced out so that it can't jump from one to another to another. Um, it's as simple as that, really. It's uh, it's not a tough game. It's just persevere. That, that, that's, that's the main thing. You've just got to persevere with this one. Um, everything that needs to be built is built. All the professions that need to be filled are, for the most part, filled. So I'm just going to throw in a couple of miners. Um... Not that we need the mining resources that are there. So that mine has almost kicked it. Um, let's add in a couple of stone cutters there. Uh, yeah, no, everything is going super well. We've grown at a really good pace um, this session. Obviously, a little bit of a setback with the tornado, but um, it's never become overwhelming at any point this uh, this this session. Obviously, last last session we had the um, the uh, the starvation events because uh, I, I I grew too quickly, but it's I've kept it at a very very reasonable moderate pace this this time through. So um, we've got eight kids more or less to 170 adults so a little bit lower than the two to one ratio that i like for like kind of a healthy growing not aging population but um it could be a lot worse as well so i'm not, not going to worry about that uh pears they are not going to be producing any fruit this season but Regardless of that, I am actually going to throw in our tavern now. So that uh, should we return to this playthrough, it's uh, it's there and ready to get producing. So yeah, probably probably towards the end of year 51, these, uh, these pear orchards would start producing some pears, um, if not the full complement. But yeah, if we can throw the tavern in now, it's uh, it's ready and raring to go. Nomads have arrived. I am pretty sure that I'm going to be ignoring that because it's probably going to be like 50 or 60 of them. 33, yeah. Um, considering that I'm about to end this session, I'm going to leave that. <laughs> so otherwise if we do return to this playthrough at some point we'll come back to hell and uh, I, I would rather not deal with hell out of the blue um, so there we go Completely um, neglected the uh, the, ho uh, the housing upgrades, so I'll just set a couple of those to kind of start start going. Cool midsummer. So let's start doing some manual harvesting. Let's make sure that we're getting everything we can out of those fields. Oh, they look primed to start producing some pears. Oh, that one is producing some pears. So we actually built that tavern at exactly the right time, really. Um, that one was built a little bit later, so that's probably not going to be produced until next year. 
Oh no, it's actually given me the option to harvest. So we we may see it tick up a couple of percent. We'll absolutely start getting some of the uh, the pears harvested from there, so that this guy can start building, uh, making some pear, uh, pear ale. Sounds delightful. Oh, a building has caught fire. Oh dear. Where is that event? Here, right by the river. So, not the end of the world. You can see that all the townsfolk just start delivering pails of water to uh, to deal with this, so it doesn't start spreading to the next buildings. Hopefully, hopefully they'll deal with it. Wouldn't be a great way to um, end the episode with a, a, a mass forest fire breaking out. But no, they've uh, they've dealt with it, and what we'll do is remove that. And we'll eventually replace it with a uh, with a stone house. Uh, early autumn, so let's just finish off the year strong. So, yep, loads of pears in the tavern, which means they're not being consumed by townsfolk, which means that we will start to see very soon. We'll get some alcohol stored. Yay! Wow, that market is absolutely jam-packed. Which makes me think that probably this market is pretty much jam-packed as well. Um, yeah, we may need to start thinking about some more storage solutions. Um, let's uh, add in a couple of storage barns around the place. One in there. So throw one in there arbitrarily, and um, yeah, this space has been used for nothing else. Let's throw one in here too. Oh, I think I missed that boat, but it doesn't really matter. In not too long a time from now, I will be. Um, Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be logging off. But uh, yeah, this game is awesome. I really, really, really highly recommend playing it. It's it's such good fun. Um, it's deceptively simple, and you've got to overcome some real hardships. But once you do overcome them, the the sky's the limit, really. Like um, I think the, the the largest I've ever built um, a settlement is like three hundred large, uh, like. 300 people large um but uh yeah you can have a look at some kind of uh i don't know so I, i've actually gone up to 600 citizens before so yeah the, there's still a lot of achievements i've not uh, i've not acquired so reach a population of 900 with a fully educated population with 200 adults for four years uh reach a population of 300 citizens without building schools well that just seems silly to me so i've never done that one uh, mountain men using a harsh climate and a small mountainous map maintain a population of 50 people for 20 years um, again I don't play small maps and I definitely don't play mountainous maps so that was never going to get done fill graveyards with at least 400 graves we've not built any graveyards which is probably quite silly of me but um, yeah clothe the population of over 200 with warm coats for four years we're well on our way to achieving that uh, reach 300 citizens without building a trading post. Again, that just seems silly to me. Why would you do that to yourself? Um, reach 400 citizens without building crop fields, orchards, or pastures. Pure insanity. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a lot of achievements that you can try and achieve um, if you want to kind of limit your ability to tend to your population um <laughs> some of those achievements are pure insanity not not impossible it must be said um maybe we'll do a kind of challenge playthrough at some point where i uh, i try and achieve some of those uh achievements 
just as a kind of one-off session. But uh, yeah, not for a while, I don't think. So we're in late winter of year 50. So we have completed 50 full years in Banished. And oh, wow, we've had some ups, we've had some downs. But we are on the right side of things now, like 22,000 at the end of winter. That's phenomenal. So much food, more food than we know what to do with. So many uh, bits of textile materials, tons of clothes, tons of tools, just tons of every resource with the exception of herbs, but that's not unusual. We are in year 51. So I would just like to say a big thank you to anybody who's been uh, watching this live stream. It's is very much appreciated um so as i said we will probably replace banished on mondays uh from next week uh as we've kind of reached the end game stage of this now where there's not a great deal of challenge other than 